Hello truth seekers and welcome back to our channel where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Buckle up folks because we're about to dive into some royal drama that's hotter than a British cup of tea left out in the Californian sun. I'm your friendly neighborhood critic and boy oh boy do I have a scorcher for you today. We're talking about the latest episode in the never ending saga of the British royal family and let me tell you, eh, this one's a doozy. But before we delve into further discussion, if you haven't subscribed, I mean, come on guys, what are you waiting for? Hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell ASAP. So, now Prince William, our future king, is absolutely fuming. Why, you ask? Well, hold on to your crowns because his little brother, the one and only, Prince Harry is about to cash in on a cool seven million pound inheritance. That's right, seven million pounds. And who's it coming from? None other than our beloved great grandmother, the queen mother herself. Talk about a family feud reaching beyond the grave. Now, I know what you're thinking, but wait, isn't Harry already loaded? Well, my dear viewers, it seems that the Bank of Sussex might not be as flush as we all thought. Word on the street is that Harry and Meghan have been struggling to keep their California dream afloat. I mean, those avocado toasts and green juices don't pay for themselves, do they? But here's where it gets juicy. William, our golden boy, is seeing red. He's not just upset, he's downright livid. And can you blame him? Here's Harry, who's been throwing more shade at the royal family than a cluster of oak trees, about to get a massive payday. It's like rewarding your kid for drawing on the walls with a brand new set of crayons. Let's break this down, shall we? Harry's turning the big 4-0 next month, and boom, he's hitting the inheritance jackpot. It's all thanks to a trust fund set up by the Queen Mother, who clearly had a soft spot for her ginger grandson. She stashed away about 70 million pounds, and Harry's getting a nice 10% slice of that royal pie. Not too shabby for a spare, eh? Now, you might be wondering, what about William? Doesn't he get a piece of this ancestral treasure? Well, apparently our future king is already rolling in it, thanks to the Duchy of Cornwall. But that's not the point, folks. It's the principle of the matter. Let's rewind a bit. Remember when Harry and Meghan decided to ditch the rainy shores of Britain for the sun-soaked beaches of California? That was back in January 2020, and oh boy, did that set the cat among the pigeons. Since then, it's been one bombshell after another. We've had interviews, we've had documentaries, and then came the coup de grace, Harry's memoir spare. Now, I don't know about you, but I haven't seen this much tea spilled since the Boston Tea Party. In his book, Harry painted a picture of William that was about as flattering as a carnival caricature. He claimed his big bro was critical of Meghan, calling her difficult, rude, and abrasive. Ouch. Talk about a family Christmas gone wrong. But here's the kicker, folks. An insider, and you know I love a good inside scoop, says that William and Kate are absolutely seething about this inheritance situation. They trust Harry and Meghan about as much as a fox in a hen house. The source spilled the tea, saying William and Kate don't trust Harry or Meghan one bit. So the idea that Harry's now cashing in on his great granny's inheritance leaves a very bitter taste in their mouths. And can you blame them? It's like watching your estranged sibling win the lottery after they've spent years badmouthing the family business. William reportedly believes that Harry is essentially being rewarded after the terrible treatment he's shown them all, and that it's just wrong on so many levels. I mean, talk about adding insult to injury. But wait, there's more. Let's bring the ghost of royal past, shall we? Royal correspondent Jenny Bond, and trust me, she knows her stuff, believes that the Queen Mother would be turning in her grave if she knew about all this drama. Apparently, Harry was the apple of her eye, her little gan, gan But Bond reckons the Queen Mum would be giving Harry and Meghan a right royal telling off if she were around today. She said, and I quote, 
I'm afraid the Queen Mother would have been mighty disappointed to see history repeating itself as Harry fell in love with a divorced American woman and then left royal life and went to live abroad, almost in exile, like her brother-in-law Edward VIII, who advocated for the love of Wallace Simpson. Talk about deja vu, right? Now, let's put this into perspective for a moment. For us mere mortals, a 7 million pound windfall would be life-changing. We'd be popping champagne, buying yachts, and probably making some very questionable fashion choices. But for Harry and Meghan, it's just a drop in their golden bucket. As Bond puts it, for most of us, an inheritance of several million pounds would be utterly life-changing. For Harry and Meghan, it would be a small bonus compared to their commercial earnings. But here's the million pound question, folks. What are Harry and Meghan going to do with all this dough? Will they use it to fund more tell-all podcasts? Perhaps a new series, How to Lose Friends and Alienate Royalty? Or maybe they'll invest in a time machine to go back and undo all the drama. Wishful thinking, I know. And let's not forget about the timing of all this. Harry is about to hit the big 4-0, a milestone that usually has people reflecting on their life choices. Will this inheritance make him pause and think about reconciliation, or will it just add more fuel to the royal fire? Now, I can't help but wonder what the late Queen Elizabeth would make of all this. She was always about keeping the family together, maintaining that stiff upper lip. I can almost hear her saying, one does not air one's dirty laundry in public, especially when one has access to the finest laundry services in the kingdom. But here we are, folks. The dirty laundry isn't just being aired, it's being broadcasted in 4K on Ultra HD for the whole world to see. It's like a real-life soap opera, only with better costumes and more castles. So, what's next in this royal roller coaster? Will William take legal action? Will Harry use his inheritance to buy a golden olive branch? Or will this be the final straw that breaks the royal camel's back? One thing's for sure, my dear viewers, this family drama is far from over. It's got more twists and turns than a pretzel at a royal garden party, and you can bet your bottom pound that I'll be here, your friendly neighborhood critic keeping you updated on all the juicy details. As we wait for the next chapter in this royal saga, I can't help but think, maybe, just maybe the real inheritance here isn't the money. Maybe it's the drama, the headlines, and the never-ending source of entertainment for us commoners. After all, who needs Netflix when you have the British royal family? So, grab your popcorn, adjust your tiaras, and stay tuned, because in the Game of Thrones, I mean the British monarchy, you never know what's going to happen next. Will brotherly love prevail? Or will we see a more family feud than a century's worth of Christmas dinner? One thing's for certain, the Queen Mother may be gone, but her money is still making waves. And as for Harry and Meghan, well, they might be seven million pounds richer. But in the court of public opinion, the jury's still out. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now!